Today, we're gonna to take apart an old school pencil sharpener. So basically, um, first off, how it works, if you've never used one of these. Um, you start with your unsharpened or semi-unsharpened pencil, and you insert it into this hole right here, top, and then you turn the crank. Works best if it's bolted to a table. And if you do this enough, you get something that looks like that, a sharpened pencil. So let's see. Um, let's open it up and see how it works. So the first thing is to kind of pull off this half here. So the pencil sharpener has two main halves. There's this kind of holder for all the pencil shavings that come off. And you can kind of pour those out. That's pretty cool. You got a nice mess right there. All right. And then this is the, uh, the sharpening half, kind of the interesting part. And um, what you can see here is that this kind of hole, is where the, uh, the pencil goes in. And these kind of helical, well, they look like helical gears, but they're, um, they're blades, they're sharpened. And those are what are cutting your pencil. So if you look real close, as you turn, you can see that these blades have a gear on the bottom. And that gear is uh, engaging another gear, like an outer gear. Kind of there's a, there's a ringed gear, right? So this kind of ring out here. So this is essentially a planetary gear system, is what it's called, because you've got two inner gears that are kind of rotating around. So we want to take this apart even further, and you can tell that this handle is kind of attached to here. You can see that one moves the other, and you're always rotating in this direction, but if you hold this and rotate in the other direction, this handle comes off, and this comes out. So now you've got your handle, which is pretty much a handle, not all that interesting. And then here's your sharpener bit. So there's a couple pieces. It looks like there's three total pieces. We've got these blades, which are independent of each other. Let's spin one, Let's spin the other. All right, so spin one, the other. And they're kind of attached to this framework with a shaft on it. And this shaft is what the handle is attached to. So let's screw it back on here. You see, there's your handle with the shaft. And it looks like, if you look closely, you can see that there are two screws through the uh, center of the cutting blades. So let's unscrew those. And then this comes out, and we'll just do the other one. It comes out. Now I've got these two cutting tools. So I've got, this is that framework piece. And it looks like this is just one solid cast piece. You can see that this piece is kind of up, up here. It looks kind of rough. And this was probably as cast. So it was um, liquid molten metal poured into a mold. And you can see where the mold half was. That there's like a line down the center. And then on the other side too. And then the shaft though is nice and shiny. So this was probably cast and then is this one solid piece 
It was either one solid piece and then this was machined down like on a lathe to make it nice and smooth so it would uh, turn very freely in a shaft like that. Okay, so these blades are pretty cool. You can see, you can really see gear, and both of them are identical. The same handedness and the same gears. And these gears kind of roll around the center there. And let's see. I could put these shafts back just to see what it looks like without the blades in them. And I can clearly see that the, the shafts that the blades are around are at an angle. And uh, that's essentially the angle at which the pencil is sharpened. You could have made, made, made it pretty much any angle that you wanted. Um, but if you make it the angle uh, too tight, say like, just like that, then your pen pencil is going to be very weak. Um, or you can make it almost a 90 degree angle, but then your pencil is just not very sharp. So it's kind of a balance and it looks like we picked some around 20 degrees, roughly. Um, and then lastly, it looks like this ring here was just kind of press fit into this outer casing. So I'm just going to pry it off. And then you can see that. There's that ring. Pretty simple. So that's a pencil sharpener taken apart. It's pretty fun, pretty cool. Uh, all these parts made of metal. Who knows when it was made? Probably in the 50s, perhaps. And pretty simple, but pretty effective design. Thanks.